Hi everyone, hope you're okay. Hope you got on okay with the true or false task that you started with based on what we did last time. Um, but what I want to go through with you now is dividing with indices. So I'm going to go through it with you like I did with the multiplying with indices um, questions. And then I'm going to get you to copy these out and you're going to then do some practice. OK, so I want to show you um, like I did last time. So when it, we were multiplying with indices, we came up with the rule that you were allowed to add the powers. OK, um, but I wanted you to understand how. To do that i'm going to do the same thing with dividing indices there is a rule that works for every time that you divide powers um so we're going to discover that and then i will go through a couple of examples and then you can crack on with your work okay so um i'll do the first one so we've got five squared divided by five so it can look either like this as a fraction or with the actual divide sign the same rule applies, okay? It's just lay out differently. But I like it like this, so that's why I've started with this one, okay? So what I'm going to do is I'm going to write down, like we did last time, um, we wrote out fully what, what was there and we represented it in just fives. So we did five times five. So five squared is the same as five times five. And then we've got divided by five, OK, so what happens is you've got a five on the top and the five on the bottom. Now, if you ignore this one, five divided by five is just one. So actually what happens is I can cross those out and it becomes a one. So what I'm left with on the top is just five times one and I don't have anything underneath. And this answer is just five. OK, so what we've got is our final answer of five, okay? So what's happened is here is that these two have cancelled each other out, okay? And left me with a one. I don't have to put this bit in, okay? That's optional. You could just jump straight to the answer, okay? So the next one, I've got 10 times 10 times 10, divided by 10 okay so what happens here is I've got a divide by 10 and a 10 at the top so 10 divided by 10 is 1 so what I'm left with is 10 times 10 times 1 which is the same saying we're not going to put 100 because that's not how we want our answer to look we want it to have a power so it's 10 squared if we come back to this one this one would have a power of 1 okay so if there's a number with no power, it means that there's one of them. So if I pop that in on this one here, OK, there would be a power of one there that we don't see. OK, how would I get to this answer of two? Well, if we think back to multiplying with indices, we know that we add the powers. OK, so what could we do to get to this answer? We would take away, of course. So the rule is that you don't have to you don't have to do this divide. You can just take the powers away. OK, I'm going to show you one last time with the X's because it works in exactly the same way for letters or numbers. A number divided by itself makes one. OK, so it's not going to make any difference. So what we've got is X times X times X times X times X. How many have we done? Five, six, seven. I'm going to do it as a divide like this divided by x times x times x. So what happens here is I've got three x's this time at the bottom. I've only had one in these ones. But x divided by x gives me 1. x divided by x gives me 1. x divided by x gives me 1. So and the reason that I'm showing you that it's divided that it makes 1 is because when you ever times anything by one, it's just itself again. So this part will just disappear and the bit underneath will disappear. So what am I left with? One, two, three, four X's multiplied together. So that's all I'm left with. So my answer is going to be X to the power of four. And that makes sense because seven take away three gives me four. OK, so the last one. I'm not going to write this one out this time. So y to the power of 5 divided by y to the power of 3. I can just do 5 take away 3, which leaves me with y squared. 
what I want you to do now, I want you to copy out my example and then you're going to have a go at some of the questions. Okay, have fun.